Brian Havens here with a video workshop tip. Sooner or later you're going to find you have a need for some thin stock and more than likely you're going to turn to your bandsaw for some resawing. Being able to resaw thin stock effectively opens the door to several new design options and advanced techniques. It may be that you need some quarter inch slats for a headboard or a crib and you want the material to match the rest of your project. Perhaps you need some eighth inch stock for some splines for a box or a miter door or some eighth inch stocks to embellish a project with some router inlay. Or maybe you've decided to take your work to a whole new level, adding curves using bentwood lamination techniques. Whatever your need for thin stock is, being able to resaw effectively is an essential skill. Now the first time I tried to resaw some thin stock on the bandsaw, it was an absolute disaster. Uh, and maybe this uh, story is uh, familiar to you. You've got, you've got the bandsaw all dialed in. You've got a brand new blade. Uh, the guides are adjusted just right. Your stock is uh, square and your fen uh, fence is set. Yet, when you start to uh, do your cut, you find that either one of two things happens. Either the uh, stock starts to pull away from the fence. That's one thing. Uh, the other is that the blade starts to, uh, pull, to pull away from the fence and uh, causing a and the blade will deflect and cause a bowed cut. If uh, you're having either of these, if you're seeing either of these two symptoms, these are both uh, sure signs of uh, bandsaw blade drift. Bandsaw blade drift simply means that a bandsaw blade cuts at a slight angle, not straight. All bandsaw blades suffer from this phenomenon. Here you can see the blue line is parallel to the miter slot, while the red line indicates the actual direction of the cut. Now the good news is that it's easy to compensate for bandsaw blade drift. It's a simple matter of adjusting the angle on the fence to match the drift of the bandsaw blade. But before we can do that, we have to discover what the drift on this particular bandsaw blade is. Start with a piece of scrap sheet material with one straight edge. Using a carpenter's square or another marking device, draw a line parallel to the straight edge. The distance from the line to the straight edge is not important insofar as discovering the drift is concerned, but I find it convenient to use a distance equal to the thickness of the stock that I want to cut. Next, at the bandsaw, cut the line freehand, being careful to cut as straight as possible. When the cut reaches about halfway, stop and turn off the bandsaw, being careful not to move the scrap. After the bandsaw has come to a complete stop, draw a line directly onto the bandsaw table using the edge of the scrap as a guide. Be careful when making this mark where the cut has been made as the material may flex. Now you can set the fence making sure that it is both parallel to the pencil line and set to the thickness of the stock that you want to cut. Now I'm using a freestanding fence that I clamp directly to the bandsaw table. If your bandsaw has a fence installed, not to worry. Most, if not all, bandsaw fences can be adjusted. Just check the owner's manual for the instructions on how to adjust your fence and use the pencil line as a guide. Now, we're almost ready <clears throat> to start resawing here, but there, uh, there's one more thing we can do just to double check that we've got uh, everything set up correctly. Using the uncut end of the scrap sheet material, make a cut against the fence, stopping when the far side of the scrap piece is even with the back of the bandsaw blade. You should notice some space between the blade and the scrap piece on either side of the blade. Ideally, there should be the same amount of space on either side, but don't fret over this too much. As long as the stock doesn't touch the blade while, while making the cut, we're in good shape. Okay, I'm ready to do a test cut. Let's see how we did. bad. This piece is about a sixteenth of an inch uh, thick. Nice and straight, no bowing. Everything stayed up against the fence. We're good to go. Well, I hope you found this video a shop tip helpful and you're on your way to doing some uh, resawing with confidence. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions or suggestions or you just want to let me know how it worked out for you, uh, send me a note. My email is uh, brian at brianhavens.us.